Hi, I'm Coy Jondro here with Red Carpet Report for Kids Saves Weekend Miracle Event on the Paramount lot. We are celebrating the release of Instant Family. I treasure, and we're going to talk to a lot of people coming up. Hi, How I'm, doing? I'm Julie. Pleasure to meet you. Coy with Red Carpet Report. Hello, nice to meet you. So I love this movie, and it, and it did an amazing balance of comedy and drama and heartstrings being pulled and, and laughter. When you first read it, the, the logline, before you even read the movie, what, what were your thoughts about the balance of tone? I just, I, it was so interesting for me because I have never seen a movie that addresses foster care. Yeah. And with, and Sean, our director and writer, is, I believe you know that, he and his wife Beth adopted three beautiful children. And so it's, the honesty comes from <laughs> yeah. the fact that that was their life. Right. I mean, there were some little stretches of truth for comedy, <laughs> but... Uh, I was just really proud to, to be part of this film and and how it's really resonating with people. I was on an airplane just recently and I was waiting for my luggage and this lady came up to me and said, oh, I just, you were in the movie on the oh. airplane. I was like, she goes, I cried and laughed on the airplane. And I was like, oh, it just touched my heart. I love that it's an all-ages movie in a, yes. such a specific way because as, as you get older, it's going to feel different. You're going to go from like seeing the kid's eye line to an adult eye line. What would you want, a, a, if you were trying to explain to a kid why it was important, what, what would you tell a child why they should see this film? For a child... Well, let me... Uh, because it's funny. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny. Yeah. You know, and all the antics that the kids get into. And then there's the serious antics. What I love also about this film is that you can sit down with a whole family from five-year-old to being with grandma and grandpa. Mm -hmm. And everyone will take away something different, which you said the kids, I feel, will find it funny. Yeah. And sort of kind of like open their eyes to... Um, children that don't have families and then have families and it's understanding that yeah. it's sneakily informative uh, i like that you're you're laughing while you're going through you're yeah. sneakily informing them of everything uh, oh i'm gonna copy oh yeah totally it. take it for the next few it's absolutely i won't release this first you'll you'll have time and uh, i have to know with with the emotions in the theater it was palpable like everyone was crying at the same time laughing yes. at the same time it was an amazing theatrical experience what was the set life like what was it like to be on set the set was just like a big family, big party. I know that sounds corny, but it's absolutely true. Margot and I'd walk around and go, this is like really fun. What are we doing today? <laughs> oh, we're going to eat cake and, you know, talk to our grant, get your face painted. <laughs> and she got a t-shirt and I didn't, but that's okay. You don't go to the amusement park, but it was just Sean had a way of making what you saw on camera was really what was going on. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he uh, it was just, a, uh, you saw the truth of what was happening. Yeah. yeah. In the sequel, she'll get a t-shirt. It's coming, I promise. It's got to happen. Yeah. We're instant Family 2, instant t-shirt. It's got to happen. All right, you tell Marco that. I will. I mean, when he comes over, I'll make sure that's part of it. <laughs> Thank you so what much. A pleasure. Pleasure. Sneakily informative. I love We got it. our buzzword. <laughs> So I've been Koi Jandro with Red Carpet Report, and we talked to so many amazing people. We talked to the filmmakers. We talked to people whose life this is and influences, and just as much as this movie has comedy and heart, so too did this red carpet. Thanks so much.